All right, why means toast? Let's calm down, let's settle in. If you guys don't know Melissa, she's been with us off and on for years. You see, on and then off when she has twins. <laughs> How about the little devil's doing? Everybody asks the All right, we have a lot of mums that cook for you guys. All right, so that head's down there, the hands are out. So notice the ground, right? Mindfulness is about notice. It's a great mindfulness exercise where you notice five things you can see, four things you can hear. We're not going to do that, but right now it's just feel the ground and now start to notice the ground. Let's breathe in and out through our nose and kind of exhale onto the ground, right? Feel those contact points. And notice your consciousness, right? That's what you're thinking about, what thoughts are going through your mind. And let's start to discipline them and bring them to what we're doing, right? It's a great match. Yeah, so the feeling and breathing. Let's glide forward to a cobra now. So coming onto our forearms, a little gentle back bend, right? So we're almost pulling ourselves through here. And again, when we get into a position, a posture, a circumstance, we breathe. So look over our left shoulder, right. over our right shoulder. Good. And go back to that child's voice. Yeah. Now, while you experience moms, that mom to be just to maybe, you know, give her some education tips, right? I mean, what we don't, what we learned is I was a young parent. I didn't do shit. Let's come forward. Come on, fire up the hose hot. Oh, what a trip. All right. Some of you still in it, you like to speak quiet. <laughs> but you asked for advice, didn't you? You know, you'd stop oh, the guy on the track and tell him about his father and he used to talk to him. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. that was awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All fours. Um, yeah, uh, Guy Thomas is one of the guys I said, hey, geez, you know, uh, can't you do a good job? <laughs> a few tips, that's how we became friends. He's like, what? So, yeah, I'm, I'm new at this. All right, high plank here now. Feel this, right? Yeah, just feel it, right? It's it's a masterful Monday. We're not going to kill it. Push back. We are going to get it. Push back to that downward dog. Feel those hands, how they're all spread out, right? Yeah, now breathe again. Lift that right leg up high and back. Open it up. So it bends 90 degrees. Do the best you can here. Now you're going to bring that right foot to the right hand for a lizard stretch. It's a great stretch to do in the morning. So I'm down on my knee and back. Yeah. My foot's turned out about 15 degrees. And I have my hands in the center here. And again, I inhale, I exhale. It's a great stretch before you run. Right, or even just before you get up and get at, get at it after the day. You know what I mean? I feel that. Now come on to the knife edge of the foot. Feel that? You can get that outside here. So roll out there. Yeah, explore a little bit. On the, uh, we did a little podcast yesterday, Mono, we talked about nutrition. Good, we're going to come up to a high plank into a downward drop. We're going to the outside. So we're going to lift that left leg up. Open it up and step into this lizard on this side. So the first thing is awareness, just like we're doing now, right? Aware of how the body feels, how our breathing is, how our mindset, mind state is. And, you know, you just start to notice when you're eating, what you're eating. That's the first step, pre-contemplation. And I've been doing that for a bit, so I'm going to make a little uh, meal plan for like four or five days, I'm not trying to kill it. Good, let's go to frog now. So turn to the side and we, whatever side you want, we rock back and forth and look at your quads to see if they're open, right? This is a great stretch. So rock back and forth a few times and down onto the forearm. So one of the first things I always suggest to people is writing down what time you're eating and what you're eating. And you know, don't get into, worry about calories, portions, all that stuff. Just notice. And then make little changes, right? Just eat a little bit healthier. That's the first step. We want to make lifestyle changes versus diets. Good. Come on back up. We're going to get onto our backs. 
And we're going to lengthen, hands by our hips, palms up. Lengthen the back of the neck, right? You know how to do that. Bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, exhale, a little pelvic tilt, right? So flatten out that back to the ground. Inhale and exhale. Good, one more time. So like that right knee. Yeah, I like to eliminate some of the stuff first that I've been probably overindulging in that are obvious choices. Replace them with something else, right? Chips with an apple, soda with a water or uh, switch sides. I just want some of that buy tea, buy tea. It's kind of good, not too much sugar. Yeah, feel this other side. Good, let's go to figure four on the right side, ankle over the knee. I like to just hug the knee up like this and grab the shin but you can also thread it through. Whatever works for you, right? Just get into the position, breathe, and all these little stretches start to add up. One good rule of thumb is try to minimize the whites. Good, let's switch sides. Um, and that's uh, sugar, salt, and flour. So when I lay off the bread and the soda, um, which I've been pretty good with, I just feel a lot. Better. Uh, Roberta was saying when she came in, I don't know, she had pizza ice cream last night, a couple of hot dogs. What else did they have, Roberta? <laughs> Chocolate cookies. Chocolate cookies. A couple of bridges. Don't worry, people on camera can't see you, and everyone here empathizes. We've all done that. So, bridges, come on up. But it's like, you know, I used to do that, you know, for uh, waffle cone Wednesdays. It was <laughs> at my house. And generally, I'd grab a pizza, a waffle cone Wednesdays, and a movie. All right, come on down. Soles of the feet together, let the knees flop to the side. I got away with a couple of decades with that, but then it catches up with you. Right? You start realizing you're going to sleep, you're waking up, and you'll feel like, what's this big thing on top of my body? Oh, it's my belly. Why am I burping? <laughs> All right, hands down now. Rotate these hands up and down from this field goal position. All right? Yeah. Now, feet flat. T the arms, let the knees fall to one side and breathe. So yeah, so I cut a couple of things out, try to move in a few good things. Kind of like the paleo whole 30 stuff, done that a few times. I know some of you guys have, let's go to the other side. And just eating good, clean, healthy. The other thing I want to talk about today is identity, you know? If I say I'm the type of person who fill in the blank, fun. good, come on, hug the knees again, lower back. So think about that. I'm the type of person who works out. I'm the type of person who uh, eats clean. I'm the type of person who reads. All right, good. Let's come up to a seated position, up nice and tall, come forward. So you've got a little mobility there. Inhale, exhale, pull that stomach in, grab the shins if you have to, elbows towards the floor. Yeah, a lot of times we forget about that part of us, right? Like, start with an identity in mind. Because you guys are fitness people. Yes, I'm a person, I'm the type of person who exercises. I'm the type of person who joins communities. And then on the, on the ass end of that, the back end, right? You add in the habits, right? The habits to back that up, right? Early to show up, right? But come on, all fours. Much cycle capital. Is all right, wide knees, <laughs> toes together. All right, come on down. All right, here we go. Inhale, exhale. Come forward to that baby up dog, and really try to bend those shoulder blades. Right, right. Remember, lucky us. Start from a place of gratitude. We're up. We're at. We're at it. We're here. Good high plank. And push back to that down dog. Yeah, this down dog is a great stretch because the hamstrings generally are the tightest spot we have. Good, come forward again to that high plank and push back. And notice pushing back through the hands, through the elbows and shoulders. Now bend the knees 90 degrees so they almost touch the mat. Yeah, and then flatten the back and then straighten the legs into it. Yeah, there you go. 
Good, now bend those knees, walk forward. One third from the front of your mat to a flat back. Real big bend through the hips and the knees, press the hands into the shins. Just get lost in what we're doing. Cody, you want to slide forward for Marie? Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Marie, I want you to work on it. Saying, hey, Cody, yeah. move forward. <laughs> Good, fold forward. I'm the same way, though. I won't, you know, literally, like, my ass will be on fire now. Yeah, come on up. Here we are, up and salute. Where was I, though? Oh, at yoga, I was, I almost started taking my pants off in the lobby. You know how you get undressed afterwards? I forgot to go in the little closet. <laughs> I'm getting to that point. Remember, we were talking about campus the other day. Uh, it's coming. Good. So, if you hear about that, it's an accident. Tom's walking around me. Good. Fold. I want to do a few of these. Fold. Come on up. And I was talking to like four women that all know me and stuff. And, you know, and I just started taking my pants down. One of just kind of, her head just like tilted. And I was like, oh shit. I'm taking my pants off. And then I, because Amy has hurt, hurt her back for like a month now. So they know her, you know, from yoga. So I made a comment. It's been a while. <laughs> I fall for it. <laughs> Thomas, cut that out, please. But one more time. I don't know why, but I get wobbly on this forward fold sometimes. So thank you for doing it with me. Um, right? Yeah. And now come down and we'll go to that flat back. Hands right to the shins here. Good. And look at we step back to that high plank. So we're working our way into a sun A and come down slowly. Kind of challenge yourself. First few here, I definitely drop to my knees for these upward dogs, right? Good. And then back through high plank to a downward dog. And then we're going to bend our knees again and walk our feet forward to a flat back. And we're going to fold and we're going to inhale to a chair. And yeah, and hips back and down. Yeah. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, fold. Fly back. Yeah, and that shutter under. Notice what foot you step back with. You try to all come down. Maybe you start to, you know, play with that shutter under, right? Push back. And now right foot to right hand. That foot's 45 degrees from that warrior one. Remember, warrior one's that wide stable stance, right? Fingers are alive, shoulders are square, Come shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, let's go. High to low, and we're up, and we're back. Left foot to left hand, come on up. Yeah, feel all the movements, right? Open up the fingers, feel the chest open, shoulders. Inhale, reach a little higher, and down we go. Up and back. Good. Now we're going to flow through both of those together. Ready? Feet to hands. You can walk or jump. Flat back. Then we fold. And let's come all the way up. Exhale to heart center. Yeah. Take a breath. Good for us. Commitment. Showing up. Fold. Flat back. Being with others, foot, right? Yeah. And go up, back, feet and hands, flat back, fold. Go right to that chair now. One breath, feel the core, please. Good, fold, fold. Flat back. Yeah, high to low plank. And we're up, and with that, Right foot to right hand. Try to think of one move ending right into the beginning of the next. Okay? So as soon as we get to the full expression, we move into the next move. And that left side, particularly at the end of that downward dog. Into the water. Yeah, come on down. Good, good, good. Oh. Back. Now, feet together and back. Let's lift that right leg up and work these hip openers, right? If they pay off after a couple of thousand. Good. Step that front foot in between the hands, warrior two. So we're down the middle of the neck. No, they do. We all have, right? Yes, little things done consistently really pay off. And kind of settle in and warrior two. It's a nice posture to do that. Inhale, exhale, the shoulders come down on the body, reverse that. 
Feel the front of the body open here. Each posture matters. Come forward for that extended side angle. They're reaching. Push that left foot backwards. Feel the knife edge, right? Remember that from Lizard? Reach with those fingers. Good. Back to warrior two. Straighten, get back, come forward, high, low. Great. And I like these postures. A lot of times you see people trying to get this hand to the floor, but notice how my spine comes out of alignment. I want it nice and straight. Open up. Yeah. Reverse. Push that front foot into the ground, reaching. Yeah, now first bit of balance, right? Front hand goes to the floor. So we're on to that front hand, front foot. Try to get that back leg parallel to the ground. Top arm up. Good, come on back, warrior two. Nail it. Reverse it, chaturanga down, yeah. Boom. up, back, feet together again, left leg up, open up. I'm going to step the foot between the hands. Good, here we go. Yes. Bring it back to now, right? Present moment awareness, the best tool in the box because it makes everything better, clearer, more stable. Even if it hurts a little bit, reverse, right? If it's challenging, difficult, some adversity, see it. And then sometimes we see that we need to step away or take a break or call for help. Good, come forward for that extended side angle. Yeah. I find walks lately just so helpful for enlarging my perspective. Good or changing them. Back to warrior two, straighten that front leg, get back, come across, down and up. Yeah. And breathe. That's it. Yeah. Good reverse. Oh, yeah, feel it, right? Each posture, full expression. Today, your moments, right? Moments matter. Minutes are an opportunity to really. Engage in things. Front hand, front foot, shoot the floor. You know, I was thinking of meditation, and the goal of meditation is to be able, one, one of them, is to be able to have space in the moment and respond, not react. And that's like a momentary thing, right? Seconds, good. Come on back to worry too. Reverse. So it's a matter of seconds. And, you know, this is probably because I'm biased. I don't want to do a 10 day yoga retreat. <laughs> Come on down <laughs> and up. We're going to crest the lunge. Come on back, feet wide. Right foot to right hand. Come on up. But that, I like to think of lately the meditation. If you meditate for a minute, it's really going to call to attention some of the things you want to get out of it. And that is focus on your breathing, right? Ground yourself. You know, try to listen or, or just try to, you know, focus on one thing. Now twist. You guys are going to the right. So in one minute, all right, if you just sit, breathe, really good, come back to crescent. Nice, kneel it. And we're just going to high climb and we're pushing back. Yeah, feel that down the dog? It feels different than the first, right? Yes, repetition. Good, come on, crescent lunge on this left side. That was my strong voice. Come on, yeah, nail it. But um, what was I saying? Meditation. Oh, yeah. Just in that minute, how you can you know change your mind state, your mindset. God, here we go. That's it. All right. Right here. Good. High all the way down to all fours. Now, <clears throat> I've said I suggested lightweight, so who needs them? Okay, get some fives. Go up, Marie. You want some fives? See, Marie planned it. She got pregnant, so she could come in late. I can yell at It's really disturbing. It has to be nice. <laughs> okay. Come on. <clears throat> you might have been on time. Who knows? No. Right. No. It's going to happen. 
You got the kids school late, you think everyone's talking about you? They're not. They're all watching their own stuff, right? Huh? We are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a lot, <laughs> we're concerned. All right, so come on. Here we go. Come on up. Where we want the light waves, right? The ground, right? Drop. All right, we're going to stay in the middle here. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale flat back. Exhale, high plank. Try to use the weight to low. Pull through. Push back. Walk the feet up to the hands. Inhale to a flat back. Fold. Inhale, chair. Feel that now? Kelly's on top. Yeah. Fold. Flat back. Yeah, chaturanga. Up. Back, right foot to right hand, warrior one, both weights, right? Good, down we go. I don't know if I explained that to Tori and the rest of the ET crowd. Good, left foot to left hand, but we're using weights now. Going into the yoga. Yeah, and down we go. And up, and back. Good, feet together and back. Right leg up, open it up. Step in a warrior two. Look over that front hand, sink into it. Yeah, reverse. Push that front arm straight up to the sky and then back. Good, back to warrior two. Straighten that front leg, come forward. One low, one high. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the warm up. Good, reverse. We're just trying to lengthen, feel. And we're gonna chat around the not half moon. Okay, so bring the weights into the body and then down. Yeah, and on those wide moves. Up, back. Good, other side, left leg up. Open it up. Step into it. Warrior two. Yeah. I don't know, sometimes I get in these postures. I want to say, yeah, we never do. I love you. Fred Flintstone and <laughs> love. Maximum. Good reverse. Yeah, feel that. Good, good. Good, come back to warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Come forward, down and up. In reverse. Does anybody have to work today? Oh, awesome. Feel that. Bring those weights in. Shut it right down, right? Come to the floor. Boom. Up and back. Okay, so now we're going to step into a right crescent lunge and we're going to do curls. So you can grab heavier weights if you want. Let's stay the same. So, see me on the ball of the foot back here? Yeah, now try this. Now I'm gently on the knee, all the way down. Now feel how much more, all the way to the floor, if you can. And feel how much strong, see how you're open and supported? Right, now engage that back left leg. Fire it up until you feel it in the cheek. Good. Now keep that front knee bent if you can, and let's go. Yeah. The legs get a lot of stability work. Remember the idea is to get uncomfortable, okay? And smile about that, right? Yes. Just about when you thought, right, it's kind of going too easy. I want to make sure <laughs> I, I check. I want to check a few boxes. Now watch this. Keep the feet hinge, kickbacks. So I'm really draping that upper body over the front leg. Yes. And if you have to come out of it, you do, and then you get back in it. And I'm watching the clock, so I don't have to count. 30 seconds. Good, back to curls. Oh, yeah. Come on. 
How's the crash? Good. Well, that's time with these, yeah. How is you, you feel your front leg? Yeah. Is that burning great? Yeah. Right yeah. up to the ass, down your feet. So you want to do I have toe scrunches and toe lifts for a workout for feet? No. Come on, tell us that. We're going to step right to the other side, press the lunge. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Come on, switch sides. Good. Remember, a good way to get it. Come down, open up, fire up that right leg. Then, there we go. Again. So adversity reveals not just problems, but also strength, right? So that's why we're practicing this. We sit right in it, we breathe with it, and then when we have to come out of it, we take a quick respite, we take that step back, knowing that's right where we're supposed to be. Save the judgment. And you kind of got to come forward, kick it back. You know, wasted dialogue of dabbling at yourself, shoulds or used tos. Come on. Yeah. Back to the girls. Oh. So it's a different kind of work. That's stability. You feel it? Yeah. Excellent. Good. Come on, last set of kickbacks here. Breathe, breathe, eight seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just collapse, please. Oh, yeah. Join me in a collapse. <laughs> All right, nice. Move the weights off. Okay, child's pose, right off. Standing child's pose. All right, we'll get back one of those for you, Marie. Give us time. <laughs> Good one. Push it back. Feel that in the hips now releasing. Good. Now come forward, please. Baby up dog. Oh, yeah. High plank. Yes. Push back. Okay. Bend the knees. Lift the eyes. Feet to the hands. Flat back. Fold. All the way up. Exhale, it's going to flow a little bit before the next phase. Fold, flat back, shadow under, high to low. Try to hover off the bottom after a while. That's a goal. Good. Feet to hands, flat back, fold, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Down, all the way down. Seems easy without the weights, right? <laughs> right foot to right hand. Warrior one. And right down. Yeah. And up. And back. Left foot to left hand. Come on. And down. And up. And back. Good feet together, we're back. 
Right leg up, open it up. Step in a warrior two and grab light weights. Yeah. But first, we're just going to hold this for 30 seconds, right? Yeah. So that front knee now, use that now. Yeah. Bend the elbows. Yes. Hold, hold, hold. Good now. Bring the weights in. Watch this. So we're coming up on that front leg. If you have trouble with that, just keep the back toe down in back rows. Okay? Single leg back rows on that front leg. Good, back to warrior two. One more 30 second hold, last one of these, promise. Yes, 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 yes. To be still, right? It's a great skill. Just be really still, focus on our breathing, engage all parts of our body to assist when needed. Good, now we're gonna to go to the back leg, okay? So just, excuse me, step onto that back leg and roll. And this one here, I have to put my other foot down most of the time because my right and left leg for you guys is working its way back still from some injuries. Good. All right. Now just walk forward for me. All right. Instead of flowing again, because I want to use the time, we're going to get into a right press. Okay. Remember this, right? Right foot forward. Good crescent. And two, one. Don't be afraid to change weights. Keep that front knee bent now. Real important. These are tough on their own. That's it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay, switch sides. Feel those legs a little shaky? Yeah, it's a nice shake. These are like secret things, secret workouts, you know? <laughs> Standing still like this, you never think like, oh, not moving, son. <laughs> Good start. Come on down. Start working your way down. We're going to keep it going. We're really well. Just thrilled with uh, the engagement. Like I was saying, Tom, it's almost like there's wavelengths up here, and that's all of us talking to each other during my day. You know, it's good. Um, like it's I sad when January is over. Huh? It's sad when January is over. Well, we have, you can make February better in different ways. You know, you gotta do, you know, we'll be doing it, but of course, you know, we're always there to assist people to get back to whatever life they need to get to. All right, here we go. Push-ups, okay? Come on down. So we're gonna do a little, 
just to kind of fly through this. Okay, we're going to do the circuit we did in the first week. Some of it. Ready? Push ups. My 12 of those is good. Coming up. We're doing bent over rows. Okay, so stagger your stance. Right, so one foot's back, knees are bent big time. And let's go right here. Call that two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Now grab some lighter weights. I'm going to use eights. Gonna to get to the front of the mat. See how I'm like this? All right, feet are wide. Then step back with the left foot. Press that left side arm up and keep it up while I step up. Bring the weight down. Right leg back. Remember, wider feet will give you stability. Good back. Press up and up. Keep it up when you step up. Yeah. That's it. Backwards lunges are so great that they call the kinetic chain. From the ball of the foot all the way up to that weight, the whole side, as I forget to press. <laughs> so that's good. You still have your pants on, though. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah. Try to keep that for another decade. <laughs> Guy running around making me shoot on us. Oh, shit. Father's back. Good. Here we go. <laughs> All right. And hammer curls. We did bicep now hands. Okay? Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. <sighs> Got it going. Come on down for skull crunches. So we're down under control. Be flat, be flat, arms are up. Let's crush away. So the arms perpendicular, palms are facing each other. Good weights by your hips, please. And full body crunches or standing pelvic tilts. Great. Ready? Let's go. Come on. Let's get after it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and up. Come on. Yes. And let's get right back to those. Uh, well, I'm sorry, we're going to do upright rows. Oops. So, why? Yeah. Be with the elbows. Yeah. Sometimes I'll sh show you. I see people doing this, trying to lift the weights higher like that. Not good for the shoulders, not good for the low back. Elbows up. That's it. Wow, good back to those push ups. Come on. Ready? Let's go. How about Thomas's newsletters every week, huh? Has he done a fabulous job? Yep. And it's like a team effort, so you get, you know, a little bit of me, and I love my spin people. <laughs> um, Michelle's kicking it on Fridays, right? We'll just, well, you guys. Enthusiasm, let's call that 12. Bent over rows. Yeah, but I love it. You do the podcast and you put some newsletter together. And it just helps. Seeing it down on paper, being reminded. So it's a routine now, which is a, a bunch of habits strung together that benefit us. And when we move, dopamine, endorphins, 
some other new things. I can't even say the word. I think they make the words hard for people like me. So they'll, people with PhDs will sound smarter. But there's another chemical. Good. All right. Um, those, now instead of the backwards lunges, we're going to do cleans. All right. So weights slide down like this. Hips back and catch it on your shoulders. Ready? But there's another chemical that they're saying uh, the muscles release during the workout. It's not oxytocin. That's the stress one. Not cortisol. Cortisol, I can say. Um, but it's some long name. And it's also really, you know, again, beneficial. Mood lifting. Right? So it's not just us having to do it. Huh? Serotonin? No. And Kepelin? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. All right. Um, Hammonds. But I'll email it to you later. All right. So look up this one. <laughs> Kelly McGonagall. Stanford professor. Does a lot of shit. All right. And she loves group fitness. It's kind of how she got her, her courage up to actually do the stuff she does with the mental health. And she's the one that talks about that. Joy of Movement is her latest book. Upside of Stress is a great book. But just listen to a podcast. It's cheaper and faster. <laughs> Go on down. Um, but uh, yeah, so all that good stuff. Wherever I was going with that, uh, fill in the blanks. <laughs> Finish the paragraph, as they say, of the sentence. We're doing our... Skull crushers. Yeah, but it does work, right? We're going to keep doing it. These habits encourage others, make it work for you. And look for the improvement, the progress. This is week three. I always say, come on. I'm sorry. Bicycles. These are behind the ears. And a nice twist. So the leg kicking out here is to stabilize the hips so you can twist across to the knee and fingers behind the ears, right? Don't pull on the head. The head gets enough work these days. Come back and forth and feel it. And excellent. Good corner. All right. Let's whip through this one more time. Well, no, we'll finish with the upright loads. Why I keep forgetting those? Because we do the shoulders, right? Yoga skull. But my shoulders are sending messages too. <laughs> Knock the shit off the shoulders. What do you mean? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Do our best thinking when we exercise. We have clarity, breath and movement combined, mindfulness, mind body. All right? Think of good shit. Anyone got any stuff they want to throw out that might help us all keep you accountable? Yesterday morning, I wanted, I'm still going to be in to plan my 2023 goals and week two made how to suffer, but I pulled out your value sheet, your 10 principles. I pulled out all the things you've given us in the past. Just to do. Crazy. That's it. Literally, this is all just information that we find when we try to package or interpret a different way to our people, our tribe. You are our people. We are a tribe, we are a group, we are a pack. You don't think you are, then I do therapy sessions as well. <laughs> and Roberta can do them too. Cody can do them. You've all done them with me. <laughs> it's me, right? I was just joking, but I'm serious. Couple more. And we're coming up. Yeah. That's over, Rose. It's going to be done in two minutes with this pop. Any of you folks watching the video, uh, Dory doing it now? That's it. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Right foot forward, left foot back. Just eight of these, right? Down and up. Now don't worry about going too low. I just feel it. Called split squats. Really good for us. So she's doing values. And I might have told some of you, I'm writing a book, stretching 
Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, so that's why no one probably. Is that one anybody? Yeah, he's told us he's been, I think. But. Oh, okay. So hold me accountable. I'm also working on, you know, the mental part of this, the discipline side of it. So I got two things going, two projects. But I find that, oh, Jesus. Right. Uh, one more set of abs, I'll get you out of here. I find that the stretching book gets me in good discipline and flow and structure because I know that stuff inside out. So here we go, flat back crunches, heels and elbows kiss, then exhale. So I'm telling you guys so that, number one, I get support. Um, but also it makes it a little more real for me, you know? So I've been studying how to write, took a writer's workshop years ago, but I've been working on a lot of different things. That's and that's that book, The War of Art. God. That's where that came in. They're like, hey, some is. I could come on up. Just grab a little stretch. I'm sorry, I don't know if you're going to jump or go, but uh, thank you for being that person that got on the other end of that. And all those people are going to watch it later. Thank you. But, um, you know, it, it makes you think. So I kind of was trying to put all the stuff we've learned and done together over the decades. All my people, Cody, how old were you when I brought you to that karate school? Oh, probably you know, 10, maybe 11. 10. No, less than that. Yeah, I don't say age. Yeah, eight. You know, I brought it to a crying yeah, place I was going to. Um, so that's how long she's been to. But over the years, all the stuff, so I try to put it all, you know, the disciplines of how the values, try to put it all together from myself. And I've been doing that. And then I'm like, why well, don't I just write it all in one place? And uh, studying different techniques, and doing the, the note card, index card system. Of getting data out of books and podcasts, right on index card, put it in a box under the title, and that helps. You find it instead of going, I know it's in that book, let me find it. I'm doing that all the time. I got books everywhere, and I'm like highlighted, this, 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 this. and then the next thing I know, I find something else, I'm reading that, then I'm going to come I mean, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> put my pants on. All right, cool. Thanks, Story, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.